Hello, and welcome to the first episode of Grammar TV for 2019. I'm Sophie Barat. And I'm Macy Shrivastava. My name is Ai. My name is Hina. My name is Yuga. You are watching Grammar TV. Grammar TV is a YouTube channel that is made entirely by students. We choose our own stories and produce the episodes together. For our first segment of the year, Holly and Grace went to learn a bit more about the Sherbonne Exchange in 2018. At the start of the year, five grade 10 students went on exchange to Sherbourne, England. We interviewed Estella and Liz about their experiences. Yeah, the highlight of my trip was um, definitely going to London. Like, um, um, cold. Okay, a typical okay. day at <laughs> Sherbourne. Sherbourne. Monday, Wednesdays and Fridays we'd have morning prayers. Yeah. Um, so we'd go to the hall and then lessons would start at 8.30. Yeah. Um, and then school would finish at 4.30. Oh, guess who I saw today? Oh, who? A chav. A chav. Was he a fit chav? Yeah. Yeah. This has been Holly and Grace for Grammar TV. Cool. I think I'll apply to go next year. Next up, we have a story from one of the grade 11s about the new canteen. New to Grammar this year is the upgraded canteen. I spoke to Mr. Foster to find out more. You and the canteen, well, the whole new caterers, uh, Chuck Wells, have taken over. Um, as part of that, they're looking at providing a very healthy choice range um, of different foods, as well as some of the old favourites. You may or may not have noticed that all of the packaging is environmentally friendly. Uh, even those bowls you get your food in are um, made out of cornstarch, so they're totally 100% biodegradable. For a long time, we, we thought we haven't had enough space for our students, especially in winter when it's cold, it's undercover. Somewhere you can go and sit and have a nice meal, uh, stay out of the weather. Because as you know, Tasmania, the winter is pretty long, cold and wet. Uh, so this will provide a space where pretty much uh, you can get 250, 300 students. What I'd encourage you to do is when you go over there next to stand, look out over the oval, but then turn around and look back. And the way with all the glass has been designed, it kind of brings together two sides of the school, two green spaces, which most people didn't realise it was there. Have you seen they've got a book in there, like a feedback book? I don't know if you've used it at all, but they're wanting feedback. They, they want to see what you guys think about it so they can respond to that. Um, hash browns got raised. People were saying, where are the hash browns? And they've already spoken with them about that and they say hash browns will be appearing. This has been Connor Barker for Grammar TV. Thanks for that story, Brad. Now we have a story about the Grade 7 Hanleth trick. Recently, the Grade 7 students went on Hanleth camp. We interviewed them to see how they enjoyed it. For my first time at a grammar camp, it was a, a really good experience. Um, probably my favourite part was uh, we did a kayak. Also, we did a six hour walk, which was challenging, but it was very fun to do. I think everyone thought that it was a good experience. I found Hanlef a really good experience. I got to learn a lot of new people. My favourite part would have been all the different water things we did, like rafting and kayaking and swimming was really fun too. So my time at Hanleth was really fun. I enjoyed it a lot. And my favourite time was probably the swimming. Um, my time at Hanleth was really great. I really enjoyed it. Probably my favourite experience was definitely the bushwalking. We learnt a lot of life skills, so it was very challenging. Thomas Wiley, Thomas Wickham and Nick Cronin for Grammar TV. Thank you, boys. Art Rage is an exhibition held in QV Mag, and Izzy and Amy took some footage of it. On Friday the 15th of February, a group of Grade 10s doing visual art went on an excursion to the Queen Victoria Museum to see Art Rage. Art Rage is a showcase of creative Grade 11 and 12 artists from around Tasmania. The exhibition represents more than 100 individual works from students from schools and colleges around the state studying pre-tertiary visual art. The artists have used many mediums and processes such as photography, painting, printmaking, sculpture, video animation and 3D printing technology. The result is an array of work that reflects the last years of secondary education. The exhibition will be showing until the 23rd of April and we thank the visual art teachers for taking us on the excursion. Thanks for that guys. Art Rage looks like a fun experience. For our last story, Charlie, Sophie and I asked some Grade 10 students about the school swim in Carnival. We went to interview some Grade 10 students about their thoughts on this year's swimming carnival. My favourite thing about the swimming carnival has to be the spirit of all the houses and the cheering and the support. I like the addition of the 25 metres because it helps people who can't swim that far and it just lets everyone have a go. 
Um, I don't think the swimming carnival needs much improvement, but it would be great to have the mass swim back. As well as the mass swim, I would like to have more events that people that can enter who aren't necessarily good swimmers, so there's more involvement for everyone. Thank you to all the parents and the teachers who helped organise the carnival. Good job to Wilkie for winning. That brings us to an end for this episode. Thanks for watching and make sure you like and subscribe. Thank <laughs> you.